Oh, good evening, Iman. Good evening. All right, all right, Amanda, let's wait. We'll give everybody some time to get here, but I appreciate you showing up on time. Thank you. Yeah, I'm on. I, I don't know what happened to everybody. People just <laughs> no longer coming. I well, don't know. I don't know. Let's give them like three more minutes, okay? Okay.
I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, you all right, Iman, are you okay if it's just uh, me and you for now? Excuse me? I said, are you okay with just you for now? Uh, I'm a little bit sick. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Are you okay to start the class with just uh, you and I? Uh, as you like. You as you like. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. So we can go ahead and start then. Um, We've got some good topics tonight. Uh, the first topic is just, you know, talking about sports. So if you could just say these out loud with me, um, I know you recognize these. So this is a uh, swimming, swimming, sailing, sailing, skateboarding, skateboarding, running, running, skiing, skiing. Okay. Snowboarding, snowboarding, roller skating. Roller roller skating, mm -hmm. surfing, surfing, tennis, tennis, and golf, golf, golf. Okay, so here's some more sports. Here we have badminton, badminton. Okay, baseball, baseball, basketball, basketball, and then we have soccer, soccer, football. Yes, in Europe it's football. Yeah, it's got football, and then in America, football. Yes, okay. And then they football. got American football. Yeah. All right, hey Zindia, we're just going over some vocabulary right now, okay? Great, thank this you. This is a uh, rugby. Rugby. Mm -hmm. Say rugby. 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 Okay. Rugby. Volleyball. Volleyball. Cycling. Cycling. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. And horse riding. Horse, horse riding. riding. Horse riding. Okay. So, and this are some of the things that we use in sports. This is a baseball bat. Baseball bat. Baseball bat. Tennis racket. Tennis, Tennis racket. racket. Golf club. Golf club. Golf club. Ball. 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 Skateboard. 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 These are skis, skis, Ski. surfboard, surfboard, surfboard. And snowboard, snowboard. Okay. And so this is where we play sports. So this is a stadium, stadium, and then a field, field, or a pitch in the UK. In UK. <laughs> yeah. But it's and, common field, right? Yeah, it yeah. Must come we on. call it field here. Yeah. Okay. And this is a tennis court. Tennis court. Golf course. Golf course. Running track. Running track. And swimming pool. And swimming pool. What is the difference between court? Sorry. That's court okay. and, and field. A court and a field. So usually a court is like it's not grass. So a court okay. is like where you play tennis. Sometimes it's a um, like a green court or like a clay court, but it's a court is usually not grass. Okay, and so field like court, usually grass. Yeah, like if you play like um, football, baseball, like squash, you would play oh. it on a court. Or on like, court, oh yeah. Yeah, you know, like racquetball is a court. Yeah. You know? Okay. Okay. Great. great. Nice. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> and so, this lesson, you know, we went over that vocabulary because. We're going to start talking about these words called gerunds. So with this one, you can make some verbs into nouns by adding an ing to these forms. And when you add the ing, this is what we call a gerund. So here's an example. If you say she goes surfing. So now surfing, when you add an ing to it, it's a noun. And since it's you add the ing to the noun you call this a gerund so she goes surfing on the weekends so goes would be the verb here and when you add the ing to surfing it becomes a noun so she goes 
surfing sure. on the weekends. And when you add those INGs to the nouns, that's what we call a gerund. Okay. So here, let's, we've got it all over the place here. So let's uh, look at some good examples of these. So this is some good examples. So I go swimming once a week. Um, how about Iman? Read this one for me. He goes skateboarding twice a month. Okay. And Zindia, this one here? Do they go dancing on Saturday nights? Okay. And then we don't go fishing at the lake. So Iman, this one here. He doesn't go cycling with his, with his brothers. Okay. And then Zindia? Does she go say, sailing in the summer? Yeah, sailing. 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 What does that mean? Uh so sailing is like when you're when you're sailing a boat. Like a oh, sailing. okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and so just remember when we add the ing here these are these are nouns now they're nouns and they're also called gerunds so this is the verb go goes go 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 and then these are nouns and or gerund so just remember a gerund is a noun uh it's like when you turn a verb when you add an ing it becomes a noun and also becomes a gerund mm -hmm. i know it's a lot of vocabulary here but we'll do some more examples here so Let's look at these. So we're going to fill in the gaps to complete these sentences. So this is where we're going to use the correct form of go. And so we'll start with Iman. Uh, we don't go blank surfing in the weekend, in the winter. So which would this be? Uh, we're using forms of go here. We don't go. Yeah, we just I don't know. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. So it, so these are beginning. It's either going to be go or goes. So yeah. this one, since it's a we, we say go. So we don't go surfing in the winter. All right, Zindia, what about this one? Do you go sailing on the weekend? Yep. So sailing. this is the right form. So go here, go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Amon. What about this one, number three? Tipo goes. Cycling five times a week. Yeah, that's right. So it's goes. Tipo goes cycling five times a week. So that's right. Okay. Zindia, what about number four? Yeah, he goes fishing on the river. Goes, yeah. So remember, yeah, he, she, it, or a name, we're going to say goes with an S. That's right. All right. And uh, Iman, what about this one? Sharon goes dancing with her friend. With her friend. Very good. Very good. Zindia, number six. Do they go running every morning? Every morning, okay. And then Iman will go number seven here. He he doesn't go horse riding. Mm -hmm. Now this would be he doesn't go horse riding though, because you've already got this one right. The the doesn't is kind of a it, it that's the first verb there, so it doesn't go horse riding. Okay. So let's go now, Iman. I know you said you're not feeling well, so if you don't want to, if you don't want to talk out loud, just tell me, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So unfortunately, these audios are not working, so we'll have to skip this. I'm sorry about that. But let's go to some more um, good lessons here. So remember that all gerunds that in an ing and are formed following these simple steps. So. Most verbs, we're just going to add the ing to the verb. So fish is going to become fish. fish. And then so verbs ending in e, we're going to get rid of the e or delete the e and add ing. So here we have skate. So get rid of the e and it'll say go skating, okay. skating. And then so single syllable verbs. If they end with a constant and a vowel and a consonant, it's what we call a double final consonant. We'll add ing. So swim is going to become swimming. So we add one more m there and then an ing. So swim becomes swimming with two m's. Okay. And of course, we'll we'll go some over some more examples with these. So this is not a very good activity. So let's skip that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so. Well, there will be more examples with those, but let's continue to look at some grammar points. So for some sports, especially with ball games and competitions, we're going to use play 
and then we're going to use the noun. And so play is going to change depending on the subject. So this is a good example. They play tennis on Sundays. So keep in mind the noun is placed after the verb. So they play tennis on Sunday. So Sunday is the, or tennis is the sport. So they play tennis. So remember, this is the verb and this is the noun. Mm -hmm. So these, they, they do have some good examples here. So let's, I'll do this one. It says, I don't play tennis in winter. So Iman, what is this one? He plays baseball for the town. For the plan. Okay, so that means he plays the sport. So plays is the verb. Baseball is a noun here. So Zindia, what about this one? Does Danny play hockey on Mondays? Play, okay, yeah. And so, and this is, just keep in mind, play is a good way that we tell people if we're playing a sport. We play baseball, we play hockey, we play soccer, we play football. And so Iman, what about this one? Tala plays golf on Tuesday mornings. Plays golf on Tuesday mornings. Okay, Zindia, what about this one? Do Ben and C play chess together? Chess together, sorry. Yeah, chess together. You got it? Yeah. Okay. And Iman, what about this one? We don't play badminton anymore. Okay, yeah. So remember, play, to play something, um, you can play a game or you can play a sport. Just remember, you can always say play before a sport and it makes it make sense there. Okay. So here are some more, let, let's do some more uh, practice things here. So what I want you guys to do, why don't we, let's pick the correct term here. So this one is Shayla don't or doesn't play tennis. So this should be Shayla doesn't, doesn't play doesn't. tennis. Yeah. All right, and then Mon, let's go to this one here. Mina plays golf at the club. Yeah, okay, that's right. Okay, Zindia, what's this one? We play squash on Mondays. Okay, good deal. Iman, how about this one? The dog plays with with, with its ball. With its ball, very good, very good. Zindia, what about this one here? Maria doesn't play tennis. Maria doesn't play tennis, very good. All right, Iman? The kids don't play games at school. That's right, yeah, so kids don't, that's correct. Okay, and then Zindia? They play soccer at the park. Play soccer at the park, okay? Yeah, so that's the big thing to remember is you, you can play any kind of sport here. Except, well, except for like swimming. So you can't play swimming. So swimming, I would just say, I go swimming tomorrow, but I wouldn't play swimming. Usually play involves sports that have like a ball or like equipment, things like that. Like okay. I don't, play, like, I, like I couldn't say I play running or I play swimming. Or, or play, play yoga. Yeah, yeah, That's that it. doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's okay. when, we okay. use, when we're using a tool for playing. On equipment, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. So these are a couple of examples. So these are incorrect sentences. So uh, Iman, what, what is the correct way to say this? We play tennis every Tuesday night. Okay, very good, very good. And uh, Zindi, what about this one here? They don't play golf during the week. Okay. All right, Iman. You doesn't play volleyball at the beach. Mm -hmm. And what's the correct way to say this? You don't play. Yeah, don't play. That's right. Okay. Uh, Zindu with this one. Do they play together every Saturday? Okay. All right. So this one, we're going to have a little reading activity. So actually, why don't we do this? Let's take terms reading these. So I will read the first one. It says, I go to Belgrade Sports. It's a great place to exercise. I play squash on Mondays and Fridays. So Zindia, why don't you read this one for me? Yeah. I love high field sport. I go swimming five days a week from Monday to Friday. I play golf on Saturdays and I play, so suppose yeah, I, think this I is play Saturday. yeah, I play tennis on Sundays. I really like there. Okay. Hey, Mon, read this one. Okay. A lot of my friends go to the park and some of them play football there. I go running there. It's great. Okay. 
And so I'll read this lesson. It says, I like badminton and skating. I can do both at Littleton something. <laughs> um, I go swimming there on Tuesdays and Fridays because how about it has a nice pool and I play football on Wednesdays. So this is James, Sarah, Chaz, and Cassie. And Cassie. So I think we're going to answer questions. So let's see if we can remember. We can always go back there. So let's see if we can. Why don't we do these one by one? So it mm -hmm. says who plays golf? So who remembers who plays golf? I think James. I think James? Okay. Iman, what I do you think? think? Uh, yes, James. Thanks, James. Okay. So let's see. So it looks like James, it says he plays squash. Squash, that's right. <laughs> it's okay. This is tough to remember. Ah, Sarah. Like Sarah plays golf. Sarah yeah, plays I, read, golf. I read that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's okay. So let's okay. see. So who goes running in the park? It was me. <laughs> I read that. <laughs> Chase? You think Chaz? Go yeah, so yeah, I think Chaz. Yeah. And Chaz, let's see if Chaz. Yep, so Chaz says uh, he lots of my friends in the park and got her running there. So that's right. Okay. So let's see who goes swimming on Thursdays. And if we don't remember, let's check. Okay. No. So it looks like Cassie <laughs> goes swimming on Tuesdays and Fridays. And then Sarah goes swimming five days a week. Days so a week. Sarah then, yeah. Sarah, probably. So Sarah goes on Thursdays, yeah. This one's kind of difficult because some of the text is not here. So, so let's, let's actually go to the next one. So this one says, say the sentences out loud. We're going to use go or play. And mm -hmm. then we're going to use the correct verbs here. So this is putting everything together. So I will do number one. It says Milo and I, and I'm going to say go, go cycling, cycling in the park on Saturdays. So what about number two, Zindia? What about number two here? The play, the team play football, football from six to seven p.m. on Wednesdays. Yeah. Okay. But so the team plays football. Plays. Plays. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Iman, what about this oh, one? Plays. Yeah, because the team, yeah. Imelda girls horse ride once a month. Okay. So how would we change this one, though? Riding? Yeah, right. Oh, that's very good. This one is tricky. So Imelda goes horse riding once a month. Very good. Mm. All right. What, what can you talk about Luther here, Zindia? Yeah, Luther go fishing during his vacation time. That's right. So he goes fishing. Luther goes fishing here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Iman, what about this one? Hannah uh, plays tennis with her cousin on Monday evenings. Oh, good. Yeah, very good. I think you guys got this very well then. Okay. So that's kind of how we talk about the go and the play. And remember, when we add the ing to the verb, um, it becomes a noun, and we call that a gerund. So we talked about sports and we talked a little bit about sports. So let's continue to talk about some hobbies and pastimes with some vocabulary here. So um, this is one thing where I want you guys to repeat after me with this too. So this says do puzzles. Do puzzles. Okay. This says play cards. Play, play cards. cards. Okay. This is play chess. Play chess. Play. Play board games. Play board games. Okay. Play computer games or play video games. Play computer play games. games. Play video games. Yeah. See, this, this, he's not using a computer, so that would be play video games. Okay. Okay. And this is just to read. To read. Okay. To draw. To draw. To, to, to write. write. To write. Okay. Let's look at some more hobbies here. This is to paint. To paint. This is to take photos. To take photos. To play a musical instrument. To play a musical instrument. Okay. And Iman, what is this instrument here? Piano. Piano. Very good. Okay. This is uh, to walk or to hike. 
to work or to hide. Okay, to cook. To cook. Uh, to, to bake. bake. To sew. To, to sew. Sew. Mm -hmm. sew. So that's right. Yeah. It looks like see you, but it would be so in English. So, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a tricky yeah. one. <laughs> and then uh, to knit. To knit. Knit, knit, knit. Knit. We don't the, pronounce the, it. Too. Yeah. The K is silent there. So knit. Mm -hmm. Knit. Mm -hmm. We have one more student here. So this is to watch television. To watch television. Okay. This is to watch a movie. Watch a movie or watch a film. Watch a film. Yeah. To watch a film. see a play. See a play. To play sports or do exercise. To play sport or do exercise. Okay. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Do yoga. Do yoga. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or listen to music. To listen to music. Or go camping. Go, go camping. All right, so we have a new student, Oscar. We're just repeating some vocabulary right now. So we can just say these out loud with me. Now, Iman, I haven't heard you speaking. So what is this one? Go bird watching. Yeah, go bird watching. Okay, Zindia, what is this one? Go out for a meal. Okay. Uh, Iman, what is this? Do the gardening. Do the gardening, okay. And this is... You can also go gardening or just practice gardening. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can say that. So what about this one, Zindia? To visit a museum at art gallery. Art gallery. Very good. Very good. What about this one, Iman? Meet friends. Okay. And so, Iman, you give me the first one here. Go on vacation. And Zindia, the second one? Go on holiday. Holiday. Okay. And this is Oscar. What about this one? Maybe Oscar can catch up. Iman, what about this one here? Go sky, sky thing. Yes, yeah, so this is sightseeing. 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 It's when you're looking at different things, like looking at the Colosseum or looking at a museum. Usually you get mm -hmm. sightseeing when you're looking at famous landmarks. Sight, sightseeing? Oh. Sightseeing. Sightseeing. Yeah. sightseeing. Yeah. And then, Zindi, what about this one? Go shopping. Go shopping. Yeah, that one's a little bit easier. So that's uh, something we really do. I guess they didn't give us any exercises there, but those are some good hobbies there. So let's talk about these adverbs of frequency. So this is a good lesson here. We use adverbs of frequency to say how often you do something. You normally put the adverb between the subject and the verb. So let's uh, look at these. So always watch TV at night. Always means you do it all the time, 100% of the time. Usually eat dinner at 7 p.m. That means most of the time. Often walk to work unless it's raining. So that's more than half the time sometimes go shopping on the weekend so that's maybe yeah, maybe 50 percent of the time and then never go to the gym so never <laughs> maybe, we don't ever do it so i never go too to lazy. the gym i'm too lazy yeah. <laughs> so these are good ways to describe some time things it's not too specific so remember the time phrases they often go at the ends of the sentences using these adverbs of frequency so um mm -hmm. I always watch TV at night. Or let's actually watch a little video. Hey, hey, Oscar, can you hear us right now? Yes, yes, yes. Good okay, night. good. I'm glad you're here. Okay, good. good to see you, my friend. Let's watch this little video here to get a little bit more bigger ASL lesson. Library. Adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency. What are adverbs? Adverbs can do many things in a sentence. They can describe verbs, adjectives, other adverbs, or entire sentences. Adverbs of frequency tell us how often an action takes place. For example, my dog is always sleepy. 
our teacher often gives us homework. I can never remember his name. What are some common adverbs of frequency in English? What do they mean? An easy way to remember the meaning of frequency adverbs is to match them with percentages. How often do you do something? When talking about frequency, 100% means you do something all the time. 0% means you don't ever do it. The adverb always means 100%. Almost always means about 95%. The adverbs usually and often mean about 80%. Sometimes means around 50%. The adverbs seldom and not very often mean about 20%. Rarely means around 10%. Almost never means about 5%. The adverb never means 0%. There are three common sentence patterns for adverbs of frequency in English. The first pattern is B plus adverb. For example, in the sentence, she is never late, the adverb never follows the verb is. Never describes how often she is late. The second pattern is adverb plus verb. For example, in the sentence, we usually eat lunch in the cafeteria, the adverb usually comes before the verb eat. Usually describes how often we eat lunch in the cafeteria. The third pattern is verb plus adverb plus verb. When a verb has two or more parts, the frequency adverb usually follows the first part of the verb. For example, in the sentence, you are always looking at your phone. The adverb always comes between are and looking. Always describes how often you are looking at your phone. Let's look at some more examples of adverbs of frequency in a sentence. It is almost always cold in this room. He is often sick. <laughs> My friends usually laugh a lot. It rarely rains in summer in my hometown. I can sometimes hear birds in my backyard. My mother is always telling me what to do. Look at the picture and unscramble. All right, so I think it's always, it's always good to hear a different uh, people practice those things. So I think that actually made a lot more sense with these. So we're going to rewrite these sentences. We're going to put the words in the correct order. So this says, in the plays, morning, tennis, he always. And so we put these sentences, he always plays tennis in the morning. So I want you guys to rearrange these in the correct way. So we'll start with this one. Iman, let's do this sentence here. Iman, I think you may be muted right now. I'm sorry. It's okay. We never, we never go to the mall. Yeah, we never go to the mall. That's right. Okay. All right, let me see uh, Oscar. What about this one? Okay. Sally and Kim work usually mm -hmm. to cycle. So. Yeah, so you got so Sally and Ken usually 
cycle to work. Work, okay. So say the whole sentence for me. Sally and Kim usually cycle to work. Cycle to work. Yeah, okay, very good. Thank very you. good. So I can usually cycle to work. And Zindia, you know you're doing this last one here. My sister often works outside. Yep, yeah, okay, very good. My sister often works outside. I don't know why there's a period there, so don't don't focus on that. <laughs> yeah. so, so unfortunately, the audio files are not working tonight. So let's go to the next one. So it says, look at the table. Oh, okay. Say the sentences out loud and fill in the blank. So Simon here, Simon always plays tennis on Fridays. And then he sometimes goes skiing in the winter. So let's talk about Nico here. So Zindia, what can you tell me about Nico? Nico usually swims after work. Okay. And he never watches TV on weekend. On the weekend, okay. On Very, the weekend, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, Iman, what about Meg? So Meg often goes surfing in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. She sometimes dances all night. Sometimes she dances all night, okay. All right, Oscar, what about Alma here? Alma always reads on vacation. Okay. She sometimes plays golf on Sunday. On Sundays, okay, very good. So, Iman, let's do one more here. So, Carrie usually goes to bed late and she never ate breakfast. Breakfast, okay, yeah. So, that was a good little activity, guys. All right, so we'll skip that activity. So, let's do another little learning point. So, when we're asking questions about free time, we're gonna use different phrases to ask about the frequency which which someone does an activity in the specific specific time that they do that. So we're gonna use how often to talk about frequency. So how often do you go on vacation? I usually go on vacation once a year. And then we use when to talk about the, now this is, I can't read this right here because there's people in front of it, but here's a good example here it says when do you go running i go running on or i go on thursday night so that's about kind of specific times so here's some more examples here it says how often do you go to the beach uh not very often or when do you go to the gym on tuesdays and fridays so how often is more you know just kind of give me a general idea and then when is going to be more specific so let's look at a little bit, another little video here, just to kind of explain kind of definite frequency. How often means with what frequency? I want to know the frequency you do something. You know, actually, guys, I think these videos are kind of boring. I think you guys get this. So let's actually practice these. I think this is better when we practice. So this says mark the correct question for each answer. So we know the answer is about twice a week. So then the question would be how often does Jack go running or when does Jack go running? So since we know the specifics, we're going to say um, how often, or well, or we know about the general idea. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. So here's number one. It says, we know the answer is five times a week. So Iman, would this be how often or when? How often, how often, how yeah, often how often do you they go running? That's right. Yeah. So five times a week, because it's kind of giving them, they're just like the general idea. Now, if they said, <laughs> when do they go to work? If you said on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, that would make yeah, sense. When. When. Yeah. So what about number two? Zindia, what about this one? It says at 7.30 a.m. When do you when do you get up? When do you get up? Yep, because when is going to be a lot more specific with that. Mm -hmm. 
So Oscar, what about this one? It says about twice a year. Would that be how often or when? How often do you go on vacation? That's right. How often do you go on vacation? About twice a year. Uh, Iman, what about this one? You're mute. <laughs> I'm sorry. When do they go shopping? Yeah, so this would be when because it's very specific here. All right, Zindia. What about number five here? How often do you visit Misha? How often do you visit Misha? I mean, once a month, okay. Good deal. So let's actually look at this activity. It says write a question based off of each statement. So here's an example. It says she goes dancing twice a week. The question would be, how often does she go dancing? Mm -hmm. So number one, it says they visit their grandparents on Saturdays. So what about this one, Zindia? How would you ask a question? Uh, when they when they visit their grandparents. Mm -hmm. well, it, would it be when they or when do they? When do they visit their grandparents? When do they visit their grandparents? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Very yes, good. Right. Oh, let's look at this one, Oscar. It says, we go skating during the winter. So how would you ask that question? How often uh, do we go to skating? Yeah, but remember, the winter is pretty specific. So when? you can actually say, when do we go skating? You okay. say, when do we go skating? We go skating during the winter. Okay, teacher. That, that one was a tricky one, yeah. So, let, what, Iman, what about this one here? He usually plays hockey three times a month. So, how often he goes play hockey? Yeah, we'll see. We would say, how often does he play hockey? Does, okay. Yeah. So, we can work on these questions, I think. On this question, do you... We need to use an auxiliary verb, right? Uh, do, does. Yeah, yeah. How much does he or do they use? Okay. Or we could use when, you know. So yeah. let's actually, Zindia, this is a good example. So it says, you go shopping on Friday. So would that be how often or when? When? When do you go shopping? Yeah, when do you go shopping, right? Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. And Oscar, what about this one? They see their parents every weekend. Every weekend, how often do they say their parents? Yeah, or you know, well, no, so this would see since every weekend is very specific, you would just see when okay. do they see their parents? When do they see their parents? They see when their do parents, they see every their parents. Yeah, okay. All right, Iman, what about this one? He never walks the dog. Uh, when he he uh, he goes work the dog, so then think about that, Iman. Think about it. So if I said Iman, sorry, I have a headache, so I can't. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Let's say we're talking about John. I say Iman. Uh, when does he walk the dog? And he would say, Oh, he never walks the dog. <laughs> Because How never is very specific there. So you say, when does he walk the dog? He never walks the dog. How often he go walks the dog? No, no, no. It would be, when does he walk the dog? Um, <laughs> because it's never, never. You see? Okay. I know you have a headache. It's okay. <laughs> Good. But we'll definitely <laughs> share these too. So let's see. Zindia, what about this one? We sometimes go skating on the table. So now How often? Yeah, how often? Okay. Yeah, how often do with some? No, yeah. How often do go skating on the table? It would just be how often do we go skating on the table? Do we? Okay, yeah. Now I right. don't know what that means skating on the table, but it would be how often do we? Go <laughs> table, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are, we're going to do more practice here. It says, say the questions out loud based on the statements. It says, how often do you listen to music? I listen to music every night. 
See, now this could be actually both of them. This could be when or this could mm -hmm. be how. I wish they'd give us better examples here. So this one is specific, though. So it says, I do yoga on Monday night. So Zindia, how would you ask this question? How often do you do yoga? Hmm. So Monday night is very, very specific. Very, very specific. Uh, when do you Good do yoga. yoga? Okay. All right. All right. So here we go. Let's do this one in mind. It says, I sometimes go to the movies. Now, would this be how often or when? How often? Okay, so how would you ask that question? How often you go to the movies? Yeah, or how often do you go to the movies? Okay. All right, so Oscar, you're next up, my friend. It says, I go skateboarding three times a month. So would this be when or how often? When? Uh, when do you go to skateboarding? When do you go skateboarding? So remember... So when that would be more like I go skateboarding Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So when you say three times a month, that's going to be how often do you go skateboarding? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. These are kind of tricky. So so this is very specific. I arrive at work at 8 a.m. And Mon, how would you ask that? What <clears throat> when do you uh do you arrive at work? At work, well, yeah. When do you ever arrive at work? I arrive at 8 a.m. All right. I usually go surfing once a week. So, Zindia, what are we talking about here? Uh, when do you go When do you go surfing? Mm. Oh, this or is how often? Yeah, how often do you go surfing? Yeah. Yeah. Because just remember, it, it's the difference between very specific and then not so specific so once a week that could mean monday tuesday wednesday thursday any day <laughs> but if i okay. said i usually go surfing at seven on monday that would be when do you go surfing mm, yeah so these are so we can't do these so this this is a good little lesson i think we could definitely do some more work on this one we talked about the adverbs the past times we talked about some free time here so let's go to the next one. I'm, I'm going to get through this kind of fast here. So this is where we're talking about likes and dislikes with nouns. So this is a little easier. You can use these verbs to talk about nouns that you like or you don't like. So use do not or don't and then does not or doesn't to make the negative. So she likes tennis. Max doesn't like pizza. I love chocolate. They hate coffee. Remember, love and hate in English are very strong ways. But when you talk about loving something, it's not the same as like when you love some person. So if I said, I love Iman, that's a little different than saying I love chocolate. So love, when you're talking about a thing, means you like it a lot. Or the hate. Hate means, oh, you just hate it. It's just the worst thing on the planet. So... It's a very, very strong way to say something. And just little contractions. So remember, don't like means dislike. But most people in English are going to use don't like more than dislike. So mm, okay. let's look at some more examples. So I love fries. That means French fries. Mm -hmm. Cat doesn't like its food. You don't like baseball. Oliver hates board games. So let, we can actually skip that little video here. So let's actually practice some of these. So we're going to match the pictures to the correct sentences here. So this is going to be, so Sam, this is Sam doesn't like TV. So Sam <laughs> TV, so he doesn't like TV. <laughs> okay, so what, so what is this one? Yeah, Iman, we have two girls. And it looks like they're hiking right now. So which one would this be? Ava and Elsa love the mountains. Love the mountains. Okay, good deal. So uh, Zindia, it looks like we have a girl. She's up on a chair right now. Yeah. And she's saying I hates mice. <laughs> hates mice. Okay, very good. Very good. All right, uh, Oscar, what is this guy? What is he doing? Yes, Emmanuel likes his book. He likes his book. Very good. Okay, and Iman, what's this cat doing here? Cats don't like the rain. Don't like the rain. Cats don't like water, do they? Okay. 
So here we're going to write the negative of each. We're going to use doesn't or don't. So this says Jack likes London, and then Jack doesn't like London. So Iman Imelda hates pasta. So it'll be the opposite of this. Imelda doesn't. Oh, uh, she love. So Imelda. Oh love yeah, pasta. yeah. Sorry, this says write the negative. So actually, let's do this. Let's just do the opposite here. So yeah, I think that makes more. So yeah, Imelda hates pasta. The opposite would be Imelda loves pasta. So you got that, Iman. Very good. Very good. Mm. Let's do the opposite of this, Zindia. My dog loves steak would be? My dog hates steak. Hates steak, okay. All right, Oscar, what about our grandfather likes coffee? What would be the opposite here? Our, graf our grandfather hate coffee. Oh, no, so hate. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't like. Our, our grandfather doesn't. Doesn't like. like. Doesn't yeah. like, yes. Because it's uh, one person here. So, Iman, I love the sea would be? I don't love the sea. Mm -hmm. But we're doing the opposite here. So, love is the strong word. So, what's the other strong word? Oh. Uh, I don't love the sea. Yeah, don't worry about this. We're doing the opposite. So, this love is the strong word for liking something. So, what's the strong word for not liking something? I hate the sea. Hate the sea. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. Zindia, what's the opposite of this one? Yeah. Sam and Jane love hockey. Love hockey. Okay. All right. Oscar, you like the countryside would be? You don't like the countryside. Like the countryside. Yeah. You don't like the countryside. All right. And it says, we like our new cell phones. And Iman, this would be? We don't like our new cell phones. Yeah, so yeah, so we're just kind of doing the opposite there. And so these is not going to work. So these are just another way to say this. So I'm going to share this lesson with everybody so you can do this during your spare time. Just remember, we say, I love curry. You hate cats. Millie hates curry. There's different ways to form this here. And so let's talk about likes and dislikes with those gerunds. Let's go back to this. So you can use verbs such as like and hate with these gerunds when you're talking about activities. So they like playing chess. Ed doesn't like cycling. I love swimming. She hates shopping. V and Lou love playing golf. I don't like working. Elliot loves watching birds and you like drinking coffee. So we're going to skip the video. I'll post that for you guys later. So we can't listen to that. So let's, let's read these real quick and then we can uh, be done. So this first paragraph, Iman, I'll have you read this for me. Me? Okay. <laughs> I am Mark Wesson and I'm at Old Town University. This is the first week of classes and the students are trying lots of activities. This is what I think of them. All right, Cindy, I read this about Chocolate Club. Uh, chocolate Club, do you like chocolate? Well, the people in this club love it. I don't like chocolate, so this club is not for me. They make chocolate cakes and chocolate drinks. Okay, all right. Uh, Oscar, what about Dancing Club? Dancing Club. My girlfriend loves this club. She goes twice a week. It's, it's great exercise, but I hate it because I am very clumsy. <laughs> clumsy, okay. Yeah, that's right. So I'll read this one. So Computer Gaming Club... I love playing computer games at home. I really like playing with other people too. So I like this club. There are lots of players there every week. So Iman, what about the chess club? Chess club. I love playing chess. I go to the club because it's a lot of fun. The players are very good. So I don't win very often. It's make me a better player. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and Zindia, what about skateboarding club? A skateboarding club. This is a fantastic club where you can learn from great skateboarders. This club meets three times a week and it's a great place to make new friends. I love it. Okay. So let's kind of look at some of these questions here. So Oscar, this says, people make cakes at Chocolate Club. Is that true or false? True. It is true. Okay. Yeah. It says they make cakes here. Yeah, they make chocolate cakes and chocolate drinks. Well, tell me about Zindia. Tell me about Mark's girlfriend. Uh, Mark's girlfriend hate dancing. False. That's very false. It says she loves. She laughs. <laughs> okay. Uh, Iman, does Mark like dancing? Uh, Remember, when you're reading these, it's it's like you are Mark. It's false. Yeah, so because, because Mark, like, remember, if I'm Mark, I say, I hate that I hate it because I'm very clumsy. Mm. He says he's very clumsy, so he doesn't like dancing. All right. Uh, what about Oscar? Does he like computer games? False. He loves playing chess. Oh, but he's, he, I think he says he loves playing computer Play games. Computer games. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's true, true. true. Okay. All right, uh, Zindia, what about he doesn't like the chess club? False. That's also false. So he does like playing yeah. chess. Too. So you're right there. He loves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, well, so, well, you guys, so we've got, We've got about four minutes left. We're probably not going to have enough time to completely finish this. But so we only had only had three people tonight. So I'm I'm very happy you guys came. Um, do you guys have any questions about what we talked about tonight? No. I think it was pretty clear. Some some things that I confused me. Mm -hmm. I I I can now I can uh, understand better, like the often. Or use the auxiliary verb when you ask question about how often do you do something. So yeah, so that, yeah, the when and the how often I think it can be very confusing sometimes. So I'm gonna post um, all these things in the classroom so we can see more examples. I'll post some videos just so you guys can see. And if you got, you know, if you do have any questions during the week, you're always welcome to send me a message, and then we can work on these more. I'm trying to do more exercises i'm sorry i don't have so much time so but uh but i really do thank you guys for coming tonight um do you have any more questions no thank you it was clear okay okay all right oh i'm on i hope you get to feeling better <laughs> soon okay thank you no problem okay do you have any questions for me oscar yes uh, what's mean clumsy clumsy so clumsy is it's like if you're clumsy is the same as like awkward it means you're not very steady on your feet maybe you drop a lot of things or you <laughs> you fall down a lot or you're not very like oh i'm always i'm always dropping my phone or i'm dropping things so clumsy is like when you when you're not very steady when you're not very um good at yeah, when you're not very good at holding on to things, maybe you mm -hmm. fall down a lot, you trip a lot, you uh, <laughs> does that make sense, Oscar? Yes, teach. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll I'll post some more examples. Uh, Oscar, are you in our Google Classroom? Uh, repeat, please. Yeah. So, are you in the digital classroom? Let me. Let me. I'll post a link so you can see. So um, two, two, two weeks ago, I, I don't, uh, I can't. Yeah, so here is, I'll just, I posted a link. Do you see that in the chat, Oscar? No, no. Yeah. I oh, yeah. will. Like in the, in, the, in the Zoom right here, let me see, Oscar. Like in the Zoom right now, do you see what we call the chat? Okay, I see it. Yeah, so it should be. 
Oh, you see that link? I'm trying to share it. <laughs> it didn't yeah. really work. So. Yeah. Here, I'll see this off here. Do you see that, Oscar? Here, type something for me if you see it. Yes. You do okay. Here, type. Can you type your email address in there? Okay. And then I can send you the invitation too. <laughs> I think I see some children on him on screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, very good, Oscar. So I will send you an invitation. And so the classroom is where I post all of our lessons and little things you can learn from too, okay? So I will send you an invitation there, okay? And I think, yeah, I think we should be good guys. And you know, um, you know, I will post things in the classroom, but if you guys ever do have any questions for me, there is my email address right there. So if you have any more questions or you need some extra help, you can email me and I will reach out to you and help you. But if you don't have any more questions tonight, I'm very thankful for all of you coming tonight. And I hope okay. you have a good uh, night. Okay, guys, thank you for coming. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, guys, have a good night. You too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, why can't I do that? How are you doing, Shiv? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you still doing laundry? I'll go wait for that tomorrow. But what happened?